Hello everybody, my name is Eric Thompson again. Thank you for looking at my video law. All right, today I'm gonna to focus on um, treats and, and how to introduce fish to your dog, to your Siberian Husky. All right, so I got a lot of emails about, hey Eric, what kind of treats do you give your dog? What kind of treats are good for your dog to train with? Well, first of all, the rule about treats is if you can't eat it, then it's not good for your dogs. On the back of these is my favorite treats. I have uh, Omega Treats, which is good in Omega-6, Omega-3. It has all sorts of nutritional value to it. It's also low in fat and calories. It comes in salmon, duck, and turkey. And they're really just dehydrated. Then you also have some uh, a little bit more traditional dog treats. But these have, uh, have organic flour to it. And they also uh, has no wheat, no corn. And those are things you really want to stay away from. It's treats with no wheat and no corn. Okay, You want to stay away from those two because they no, not have any nutritional value to it. And they're just fillers. Okay? So these are the treats. You get these treats from PetSmart. Um, this one runs about $3.99 on PetSmart, and these run about $4.99. You can see the comparison on the bag. Like I said, when you buy any treats, just make sure that you go and look on the back of the ingredients. Once again, you want to stay away from corn. You want to stay from um, uh, wheat. Okay, You want to stay from those two things. If you get to something called barely wheat, then that's good because it's very organic and it's very healthy. So that's the only wheat that you probably can use. All right, so now... I want to introduce you to uh, a fish. Now, you can get this from any supermarket, any food store, uh, Walmart, Target. You can practically find this anywhere. All right, this is uh, mackerel, okay, tuna mackerel. And these are actual whole fish with the heads cut off, stuffed in the can, all right? So these are absolutely good to introduce your dog to fish, all right? Now, you usually want to, if you're on a raw diet or a partial raw diet, you want to give your dog a raw fish and uh, an organ once a week, at a minimum once a week, okay? So, what I'm gonna do is, I already got the top off of this, I'm gonna pour it in the can, and I'm gonna show you what these two uh, look like, you gotta step up, what these two look like. All right, so, like I said, here's what they look like. It's just fish cut with the head off, and some of them have the tail cut off, some of them don't. These are very good, now they can eat this whole. Now it does have bones in it. Uh, they are able to digest the bones. You don't have to worry about getting into their intestinal tract and uh, ripping anything. These are very good. So what you do is, what I would do if you start your dog off on it, I would just give them one, one chunk and let them eat it. And Lana is sitting by, like I say, if you open it up, it does have bone. Bones are absolutely good as long as they're not cooked. And when you cook bones, then they break up and they chip. And that's when they can rip the intestinal stomach, I mean intestinal lining, um, or they can rip the stomach lining. So, but when they're not cooked and they're, uh, and they're just raw, then you can give them to them and they're able to digest it. I do recommend that you drain the water out of your, um, the, out of the fish out of the can, drain the juices out of there, put it in your dog, and Lana is ready to stand by to give it to him. And when you give it to him, just give it to him, let him eat at their leisure. And you just want to pay attention to them, make sure they're not choking, uh, make sure they devour it completely. And uh, once again, when it comes to Siberian Huskies, for those of you who don't know, you want to uh, ensure that you do not uh, allow your dog to run, play, jump an hour until an hour after they have eaten their food. Don't forget when it comes to Siberian Huskies, their stomachs are not attached to the wall. Their stomachs are, are loose and swing about. So therefore, anytime you feed a dog, you let them run and jump and play or go out and do any kind of physical activity, you run the risk of having that intestinal intestinal line wrap around their stomach and cause some bloating, some other uh, issues that you have to take to the vet and it could cause death. So once again, uh, this is just tuna mackerel. It's actually called Jack mackerel, and uh, it's about a dollar thirty-nine a can. If you're just starting off on a raw diet, I will recommend you give this as a starter for your uh, Siberian Husky. And once they can take two of these easily without choking, um, then you can move up to a whole fish as they get older. If you have pups, these these would be excellent to give to puppies as a starter. Um, because they have no scale, they have no uh, no head, no eyes for them to digest, so this would be excellent for them. So, once again, mackerel for about $1.39. You have your Omega Treats, which I really highly recommend for any dog trainer. They love these. I've never met a dog that doesn't love these. Just remember when you give a treat out, you rip it in half and just have it barely in front of them so they can um, smell it and don't take the whole thing. And if uh, you're going to zoom back on Lana, and as you can see, she ate the whole entire thing. 
and is she good to go? And like I say, you just want to watch them as they eat them, make sure they don't choke, make sure they're not eating it too fast. Because um, some dogs, when they get to the raw diet, uh, it's so natural to them and it's so good that they kind of try to gulp it down and end up choking. So just kind of watch them. And once again, you can find these treats at PetSmart, okay? And you can find us at your local grocery store anywhere for $1.39. Once again, if you have any questions, suggestions, or something you would like to see me show you when it comes to Siberian Huskies or, or just about any dog, hey, shoot me an email. Please comment on this video what you like and what you don't like. Once again, this is your Siberian Husky owner, Eric, and this is Lana. Thanks for joining us.